Hey guys, welcome back to Team Deathslinger. My name is Peter, and today we're looking at EX6 Dan Demimon. So, starting with our eggs, we have four copies of the BT3 Demi Marimon. On deletion, we're going to trigger draw one, then trash one card in your hand. Uh, we are going to lose some stacks. We are going to be swinging in for some chip damage. So, I like this egg just to cycle our cards. Uh, one copy of EX5 Jaomon. When an effect plays one of your Digimon, draw a card. We do have a quite a few ways, actually, to play Digimon by effects in this deck. Um, so this is just going to net us some draw power uh, in those circumstances. Two copies of the new EX6 Sukaimon. On deletion, we're going to delete one of your opponent's level 3 Digimon. An opponent's turn when an opponent's Digimon attacks by deleting one of your other Digimon and the attack. So, like we said earlier, we have a lot of ways to play out extra bodies. And this Inheritable can actually do some work in stopping your opponent from uh, taking some swings at us. The deck is a little bit on the slower side, um, so being able to stop your opponent from getting really aggressive with you early um, can pay off quite a bit, and that on deletion effect popping floodgates is really good as well. Four copies of the new EX6 Dan Devimon. On deletion, if one of your if your opponent has five or fewer cards in hand, you're gonna draw one trash one, and if your opponent has seven or more cards in their hand, uh, they're gonna trash a card in their hand. So this is one of the main ways we're gonna force our opponent to start discarding down. If you don't know, the new support really revolves around forcing your opponent to discard cards and then netting value when they don't have a lot of cards in their hand. Uh, the inheritable says that when they have six or fewer cards in their hand, you get one K DP. Kind of comes up, kind of doesn't. Um, but that on deletion effect is really good for us. I like four copies of the old promo de uh, Demi Devimon. On deletion, if you have seven or more Digimon cards with Devimon in their names, in your trash, you may play one Dan Devimon from your trash without paying its memory cost. We are going to try and cheat out some Dan Devimons. Uh, this effect kind of synergizes a lot with the Demi Marimon egg. It's going to help us set up Devimons in the trash, uh, and this will help us get that Dan, Dan Devimon back on board um, once our stack dies. Then I'm running three copies of Ukomon. Like I said, the deck struggles a little bit with speed, and I think that this supplements that quite a bit. Uh, so when one of your Digimon moves from the breeding area to the battle area, you may hatch in the breeding area, then gain a memory. All this really does uh, is going to make sure we don't get choked out to one. And the turn we promote it, we can swing it. If we have the Demi Devimon, uh, Demi Marimon egg underneath it, we're going to get to start setting up our Devimons in trash. And that's just kind of a really, really powerful opportunity to have. I like three copies of BT14 Devimon on play when attacking. You're going to trash the top three cards of your deck. So again, we're helping ourselves get Devimons in the trash. Uh, and your turn, this Digimon gets 1k DP for every three cards in your trash. On deletion, you're going to trash one card in your opponent's hand without looking. Uh, so we're in line with our discard down uh, synergies for this deck. So it kind of fits. I only have it at three just because it costs three to Evo and it can feel pretty bad sometimes. But um, if you get this on the, the Ukomon promote, uh, you kind of have the memory to play with anyway. So then we have four copies of EX6 Switchmon. On play when digivolving by trashing one card in your hand until the end of your opponent's turn, one of your opponent's Digimon gains, end of attack, delete this Digimon. And then the Inheritable says, opponent's turn when an opponent's Digimon attacks by deleting one of your other Digimon, end the attack. So same Inheritable as the Sukaimon. Uh, and the on play when digivolving also works really well for us because, again, we get to pitch a card which lets us set up those Devimons in trash uh, and is going to force our opponent to potentially stop swinging uh, and buy us some time to get set up. So I like this card at four. Then we have four copies of the EX6 Devimon. On play when digivolving, if your opponent has five or fewer cards in the hand, we're going to delete one of your opponent's level three Digimon. And if your opponent has seven or more cards in hand, your opponent trashes one card in their hand. We're primarily going to be using this to force our opponent to discard down. Um, the effect doesn't happen too, too much because this will usually go in raising. Um, but when it does, you're going to use it to force them to discard. It's another DP buff in Heritable, which is okay. Um, but it's a mandatory four for the discard effects and the Devimon name. Then we have four copies of the EO EX6 Neo Devimon. So on play when digivolving, if your opponent has five or fewer cards in hand, you're going to delete a level four or lower. If your opponent has seven or more cards in hand, they're going to trash a card in their hand. Uh, so kind of in line with the other EX cards that we've seen so far. Um, on deletion, if they have 10 or more cards in their trash, you can play a Dan Devimon from your trash without paying the cost. So this is really, really good uh, later in the game. Uh, when the opponent has cards in trash, it's just going to net you free Dan Devimons, which feels really nice. And the Inheritable, when attacking, if your opponent may trash one card in their hand, if they don't, you can play one purple level 3 Digimon from your trash without paying costs. So that's one of those ways to play back level 3s that we were talking about earlier. Next, I'm going three copies of Bastemon. It has Scapegoat. When Digivolving, you play a level 3 purple Digimon card from your trash without paying the cost. Uh, an opponent's turn, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, you can play one purple level 4 or lower Digimon from your trash without paying the cost. So this synergizes with the, the Witchmon, um, giving your opponent an end of attack trigger, and then you can go into uh, Bastemon and then use the Alice tech that we have in the Minervamon deck that you've seen to get into our level six, get this Inheritable active, 
um, and punish them pretty hard if they lose that body. So I think this card introduces a lot of speed to the deck, and that scapegoat effect is really, really good uh, at helping us make sure that our stack stays on board. Um, also, the ability to play something like the Demi Devimon uh, that can force your opponent to trash a card in their hand, uh, and then just immediately sack it with the Alice and get into our level 6. Um, we're kind of forcing them to lose possibly two cards just on that play and get into our 6 really, really fast. So I, I'm really, really enjoying this card uh, in most of my purple decks right now. I have two copies of BT4 Dan Devimon. Uh, opponent's turn once per turn when a card is removed from your security stack, trash the top card of your opponent's security, and on deletion your opponent trashes two cards in their hand. Uh, I was originally running without this card, and I decided I really like it, um, because the deck was kind of struggling with its first stack. And what I mean by that is, I would get into my first stack, and I wouldn't really be set up to do anything incredibly impactful. I would either be forcing the opponent to discard, but they wouldn't quite be low enough that I can do anything impressive or crazy. Um, and what this card allows me to do is to force my opponent to trash two cards that puts them in that like vulnerable threshold uh, for my other effects. And if I don't lose it immediately, they're going to lose the security off of it. Um, and that kind of adds up with the chip damage from the Ukamon and the other level threes that you're playing out. Um, so I, I found that I quite like this card in the deck. Uh, it's definitely not better than our other Dan Devimon, the new one, um, but it fills a role that I feel like the deck really needs. So I have it at two copies and then two copies of the new EX6 Dan Devimon. So on play when Digivolving, you're going to delete an opponent's level five or lower Digimon, uh, which is nice. And if the effect doesn't delete, your opponent trashes one card in their hand, which is, again, in line with that theme we're going for. Uh, your turn, when your opponent has five or fewer cards in their hand, this Digimon gets Rush and Security Attack plus one. So this is one of those things where if you get into the Dan Devimon and you can get it to die, your opponent discards two cards, which is just a really good effect in this deck because you don't have any of their effects that indiscriminately force your opponent to discard down. So they're going to lose two cards. Um, and if you have this Demi Devimon in your uh, Inheritable, um, you can then play out this Dan Devimon. If they have five or fewer, uh, you get Rush, you get Security Attack plus one, and this hits really, really hard. The on play can remove a body um, or force them to trash another card and keep their hand even smaller. So that kind of synergy is just really fantastic in this deck, I feel. Then we have three copies of EX6 Barbamon. It has Scapegoat on play when Digivolving. Trash one card in your opponent's hand without looking. And then all turns, once per turn, when a card is trashed from your opponent's hand, you may play one purple card with a play cost of 10 or less from your trash without paying the cost for each card in your opponent's hand. Reduce this effect's play cost maximum by one. The important thing to note here is that this says you may play one purple card, not one purple Digimon, one purple card. So you can play Tamers, you can play Options, uh, and that is really powerful. Um, so to supplement that, we're running two copies of Pandemonium Lost. Uh, if your opponent has five or more cards in their hand, your opponent trashes one card in their hand, then delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a level greater than or equal to the cards in their hand. So this is a really strong card. Like, as soon as they basically have six cards in hand, seven cards in hand, uh, you go into Barbamon and you can pop a level six by grabbing this card back from trash and, and playing it. Um, so I like this. Uh, if you actually manage to get their hand pretty small, you can do a lot of stuff with this card. Um, so that's really nice. I have four copies of Wisdom Training for our search package, um, three copies of Alice just to make sure we see it when we have the Bastmon. Uh, when one of your Digimon would Digivolve from five to six, you delete one of your Digimon to reduce the cost by three, so effectively gives us a free level six. Um, and then three copies of Analog Youth. It fills our trash by revealing top three, and then we add a Digimon, the rest go to trash. Um, and that also gets our Pandemonium Losts in the trash for Barbamon. Uh, and we don't have to be afraid of losing Alice's with this because we can, again, play those back with Barbamon. So that feels uh, quite nice. So that's it for my deck profile. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys are doing with Dan Devimon. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.